Hi, everyone, and welcome to Zoom Info's webcast, Upgrade Your Employer Branding to Attract and Retain the Best Talent. We appreciate you joining us today, and we will kick things off with our experts who are joining us shortly. But first, I just need to cover a few housekeeping items. Let me head over into housekeeping. So a few things here, uh, technical issues. If you are experiencing any issues with the viewing, please let us know by utilizing the Q&A chat on the right side of your screen. Um, as a tip, you can refresh your window and usually that helps. For Q&A, we have a Q&A chat so that you can ask our experts questions that you may have while they are talking or later on during a demo. Feel free to submit those questions as they come up and we will be sure to answer them during the Q&A portion at the end of today's event. For the recording, we are recording this webcast and you will receive an email uh, with a link to the recording roughly 48 hours after this recording uh, concludes. And then let me head over to our safe harbor statement. And I'm just gonna cover this really quickly here, but the last housekeeping item is that Zoom Info is a publicly traded company. And this presentation may contain forward-looking statements so any buying decisions that you make should be based only upon currently available product offerings and our complete safe harbor statement is on this screen. So without further any, any further ado, let me go ahead and introduce you to today's experts. Joining us today, we have Jason Nazar and Justin Withers. Jason Nazar is the co-founder and CEO of Comparably, an employee review platform and a leader in the employer branding and recruitment marketing space. Jason brings years of experience in employer branding, and we are very excited to have him here to share his point of view. Joining him in the discussion today is Justin Withers. He's the SVP of strategy at Zoom Info, and Justin is an accomplished B2B SaaS executive with experience building and managing high-performing product and marketing teams. I know firsthand that he's a great leader and understands the importance of branding. We have Susan McComer. She is the Enterprise Account Executive at Comparably, who is also joining us. And Susan has been with Comparably for over three years, and she will be showing us the Comparably platform later in the webinar. And then last, let me introduce myself. I'm Lauren Hogan, and I'm the Senior Product Marketing Manager here at Zoom Info. I support our Talent OS platform. However, in May, when Zoom Info acquired Comparably, me and my team now support both Talent OS and Comparably. I'm super excited about the opportunity to leverage Jason and Justin's expertise on employer branding. So let me hand the conversation over to Justin to kick off the discussion. Awesome. Thanks for the intro, Lauren. And Jason, it's great to be here with you. Uh, you know, Jason and I, our relationship goes back a couple of years now uh, when I was running strategy for, for Zoom Info and had some early days conversations with Jason about the potential of uh, bringing comparably into the Zoom Info fold. And so excited to have this uh, conversation with you today, Jason, welcome. Thank you, Justin, I am too. And and it, you're absolutely right. It started with the reach out uh, from you to me and, and very honored and proud that we're all part of Zoom Info now. Awesome. Well, let's kick things off with uh, the first question, Jason, uh, just to give everybody kind of a, a foundation, but tell us why you started comparably and what the problems were that you were seeing um, with relationship to employer branding and recruitment marketing. Absolutely. Thanks. So let's just define what comparably is today. It's both an employee review platform where millions of people a month go to comparably.com to see what it's like to work at tens of thousands of global organizations to contribute their own experiences anonymously as employees of those companies to research salaries and to even now see how consumers rate different brands. And then it's complemented by a SaaS product for employers where they can amplify and manage their employer brand and recruitment marketing efforts. And that's a really unique differentiated product that doesn't exist anywhere else in the market. We started Justin Comparably in 2015, and it really all came out of a desire to wanna to help meaningfully improve every company's culture. And it was stemmed from, you know, my background as an entrepreneur, I had started another venture back company in the mid 2000s, grew it for eight years, sold it to Intuit. And admittedly so early on as a company leader, I didn't think a lot about company culture and I wasn't good at it. And over an eight year journey and then getting to be part of a great company like Intuit, much like Zoom Info today, I became a complete convert on the importance of company culture. 
And I had these two amazing co-founders, Mike Sheridan and Yadid Remote, and we were all at that previous company. And what we were driven by is how do you help meaningfully improve company cultures? And the problem that we wanted to focus on was transparency. And there were other employee review platforms that people may know of, but what we felt like is there was not a data-driven approach to how people thought and felt about working at all these global organizations. And oftentimes, employee review platforms can become venting grounds for angry ex-employees, and it doesn't tell a full and accurate picture of what it's like to work at a company. And so we set out to build a product that really didn't exist, comparably as a data asset. We have millions of people that contribute specific data on their department, on their ethnicity, on their background, on what it's like to work at their company across 16 different categories. And so we build these deep public insights available for every single candidate and employee to see what it's like to work at these thousands of organizations. We were the first company to ever give every global organization a diversity score and a gender score. We break down in detail what it's like to work across departments and different aspects of a business, really more specifically than any other platform. And then just in a couple of years in, what we realized is there was this emerging category of employer branding and recruitment marketing. And I know this is what we're gonna spend the majority of our time on, but what we did is we said, hey, we are gonna be the market leader and helping every global organization more effectively tell the story of who they are as an employer, to amplify that to millions of people, and to help provide all the tools and resources to influence candidates that goes beyond just traditional job advertising and job posts. And so, you know, that's where we are today. And certainly with Zoom Info, you know, leading, you know, in such incredible ways with Talent OS now and being in my opinion, really the preeminent company company for everything business intelligence and business data. You know, it was just so exciting to have an opportunity to join forces and build something together here going forward. Yeah, that, that really leads into my next question, which is, you know, when we started talking and further down the line in, in conversations with Henry Shuck, our CEO and Zumempo team, what appealed to you about the combined vision of, of Zumempo and Comparable? I've had the advantage now of getting to watch Zoom Info grow over the past many years, both as a customer. You know, as we started to build out our B2B team, Justin, it became very clear the most critical piece, that one of the most critical pieces we were going to need was Zoom Info to be successful. And, you know, we tried lots of different providers and talked to lots of different folks, and it became imminently evident that Zoom Info was the market leader for a reason. And so... A, I just think we've had so much admiration for what Zoom Info has built up as far as being, in my opinion, the SaaS provider, leading SaaS provider for all go-to-market. So now, obviously, the Zoom Info offering is so much wider than, you know, just contact information, you know, whether it's Chorus or Engage, all these different tools we have to help companies basically grow their revenue. And then, obviously, we got to know that, Zoom Info was making a meaningful foray into recruiting into talent with Talent OS. And one of the things that Henry and I have talked a lot about over the last year is the job market has really drastically changed over the last many years. You know, it used to be two, three years ago, you couldn't hire engineers, Justin, from a job board, but most other roles you could put an ad on, on some job platform and you'd get a lot of the candidates that you need. Well, in today's world, right, with unemployment where it's at and how difficult it is to hire candidates, virtually every key role that you need to hire for, there needs to be some proactive recruiting that's happening in addition to a traditional job post and job ad. And the fact that Zoom Info is leveraging its data, intelligence, and software to help every global organization now more effectively, proactively identify those candidates to source them, to engage with them, was just a huge thing I saw that Zoom Info was gonna be incredibly successful at. The reason why Comparably is such a natural fit is Zoom Info helps you identify those candidates and find them, whether they're in sales or technology or finance. And then Comparably is the secret sauce 
that then helps provide the data, the transparency, the storytelling to influence those candidates to want to be part of your organization. So that was really compelling. The second thing was, that was really compelling is ZoomInfo is the market leader, again, in my opinion, of everything business intelligence. And at the core of what we do on our consumer side, Justin, we're a data asset. And so we're building up this un uniquely proprietary data that no one else in the world has on Comparably. Again, we, we're going to have over 50 million people this year come to our platform and contribute this unique data. And when we have the opportunity to combine that with the data set of Zoom Info, I think there's just some real magic. And then I think the third thing is just culturally, we were so aligned. It's just such a rare, unique thing for a public company to be still led by its founder and CEO, especially after you know a decade and a half. And I think we all know Henry is just such an exceptional leader and built such an incredible team as witnessed by you, know, you here today. And I think when we were thinking about you know potentially stopping our journey as an independent company and being part of a larger organization, the truth is there's very few folks that, you know, I think we would have wanted to stop our journey on, you know, and join their journey. And, and Henry was one of those folks because of everything that he built and the unique culture at Zoom Info and how much it felt similar. It's a very rare thing to be at a company of Zoom Info stage and size and have it still feel like a startup in a family. And I think that really appealed to us as well. Yeah, just to jump in with my perspective, um, you know, two years ago I was running the acquisition motion for Zoom Info and, and, you know, talking to a lot of companies on a regular basis about, you know, the potential of joining forces. And, and the fun thing about the, the conversations that we were having is that at the time we hadn't even yet launched Talent OS. And so, you know, very, we were in very early days acknowledging that there were interesting aspects of Comparably's business that fit really well with the future of Zoom Info, um, even before we had laid some of that foundational work and, and uh, you know, converting the huge and valuable data asset that we had for prospecting on the sales side of things into a valuable asset for recruiters who are trying to, to go out and source talent and difficult to hire for roles. And, and so two things that really stood out to me about Comparably were um, a couple of things. One was the, the, how you were leveraging the power of, of a company's employees um, in terms of their voice, their testimonial, the, the ability to create media assets that capture the voice of employees. Um, two, in the way that you're collecting reviews to capture the voice of employees, like you said, uh, you know, those, those review sites often become a dumping ground for complaints. Um, rather than cap capturing the authentic voice of, of employees at an organization. And then thirdly, uh, capturing the power of, a, of the employee network. And, be, and, and this, is, this is in particular of value to recruiters who are trying to go out and, and hire for these, these uh, challenging to hire for roles. Now you have access to uh, leverage the power of your, your internal team and push out, you know, whether it be through Slack or other uh, different mediums, um, you know, the ability for employees to easily take a, a job posting or, or otherwise and, and leverage that, that, that network. And the second thing that I really um, noticed about uh, comparably as we were, you know, contemplating that move is that just like in sales, you know, it's not about, you know, recruiting is not just about the execution of, you know, going out and hiring. It's not just about identifying the right candidates and about calling them up in sales. Uh, in, in the parallel universe, after you reach out, that person's probably going to go and do a little homework on the product and really try to dive in and understand, hey, what is it that this company wants me to buy? Uh, in the recruiting world, it's very similar, except that the product is the company, it's the employer, it's the culture, it's the leadership. And so, you know, while, while sourcing is a, is a hugely important aspect of recruiting, the other hugely important aspect is what that person or what that candidate is going to see once they start to investigate you as a potential employer. And so that kind of dovetails into my next question, which is, you know, how do you define employer brand or employer branding and why is it so important to business? And ultimately, what kind of results can an organization expect to see from efforts in that area? Yeah, it, it, employer branding is so critical. And Today, your employer brand as an organization is so 
connected to your overall brand. So I define employer brand as the understanding and perception in the marketplace between your own employees and candidates of what they think of you as an employer, what that unique value proposition is as an employer, and how compelling you are as an employer for them to want to come to work for you. And where the world has changed is just no candidate that any of us that are really trying to go after and get makes a decision to join an organization without really meaningfully researching it today. And so uh, companies often don't fully understand the cost of not investing in their employer brand or ignoring it. Because if we're spending millions of dollars a year to recruit candidates, and at the very top of the funnel, people are just opting out of applying to our jobs or they opt out of taking our offers because we're not well known enough as employers, because we don't tell our story of what we do effectively well enough, or even worse, because there's misinformation out there about what it's like to work for us. Then it's a massive cost of millions and millions of dollars to companies. And so this is an absolutely critical area, not only for candidate attraction, but retention. And the key thing, Justin, a lot of people don't often think about of employer brand is your employer brand is not just here to attract new talent. It's there to reinforce to the team that you've got with you right now what is so special and unique and wonderful about working in your organization and why they should continue to reinvest in choosing to work at your company every single day. And so in the same way that you know all these companies know that investing in brand is absolutely critical to influence customers, we now know that investing in our employer brand is absolutely critical and absolutely necessary to attract the right kind of candidates and to retain the team that we have today. That's great. And so if I think about, you know, let's, you know, as a member of our audience today, I want to get, I want to improve my employer brand, or I want to start on this path to uh, improving employer branding for my company. What are the key pillars or key components of an employer branding strategy that I can think about to start taking action? Yeah, it's an incredibly important question. And uh, the simple answer to it that we're going to go into detail is you have to be where the candidate is and you have to influence her around the things that she cares about the most. And so th there's a couple key areas that candidates are now leveraging to make their decision to whether to join your organization or not. The first is those candidates are going to Google and they're doing research about what it's like to work at your company. The second is that they're going to social media and they're increasing using platforms like Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and LinkedIn to understand what not only the company is putting out there about what it's like to work, but what their own employees are really saying. They're obviously going to your own job posts and career site. And then they're being influenced in a multitude of areas, whether they go to you know, third party job boards and they have a chance to see information. And so what we do uniquely well at Comparably is the following. We have some software that makes it incredibly easy and very quick to get all this feedback from your team and then publish it online. And unlike other platforms, we give companies the option to get feedback just from current verified employees. And then once we have that data, we're, we're really masterful at storytelling, whether it's through articles or videos or SEO traffic or this content and tools that we have, as you said, that unlocks employees as promoters to help spread that message. So when a candidate goes to Google, she's influenced by what she sees on Comparably about your company. When she goes to LinkedIn, she's seen employees at your company put out posts of what it's like to work there powered by the data and tools and content on Comparably. When she goes to third party job sites like ZipRecruiter, she's seen data from Comparably on those job posts that she's thinking about applying for your company as she goes to your own job post and career site and she's on a specific job post for an engineer or a VP of sales. She's seen videos from folks that work in engineering and sales powered by Comparably on that job post along with a host of data why it's exceptionally good to work there. Every company does a set of things amazingly well for their employees. What they don't do amazingly well, Justin, is 
capture those stories and use it to influence candidates and talent. And one of the things that's often so surprising to us is we've got this really amazing collection of you know, companies of all sizes, small businesses with under 100 employees, Fortune 500s with hundreds of thousands of global employees. And we often hear from these talent leaders, we're still trying to figure out employer branding. We're trying to figure out the strategy and the tactics of what to do. And it's such a still new category that people are relying on our platform, not only for the ex expertise, but the execution of all these efforts. And that's what we do that's so uniquely special. So that's that's actually a good uh, dovetail into a question I wanted to ask you later, but I'll ask it now. And that is maybe share a few examples with me of, of customers of Comparably who have a unique approach to employer branding um, or who are just, you know, really leveraging Comparably to its fullest extent. And uh, what are they doing well and kind of what results are they seeing? Yeah, I'd be happy to. So one of our customers is public storage. And what was really unique about them is that, you know, they came to us and they said, look, you know, we've we've had some historical reviews built up on other platforms over the years. We don't think it's fair and accurate. We don't think it's telling the story of who we are as an organization today. And it does appear that it's hurting our talent acquisition efforts. We love the fact that you make it more fair and accurate um, for us to tell the story of who we are today as a global organization, because who we are today is not who we were five or 10 years ago. And we very quickly got feedback. They had great scores. And in fact, they ended up doing really well on our awards, Justin. And they found so much value from this that if you go to the homepage of publicstorage.com, right on the homepage, they're showcasing their comparably scores and their awards. This is a multi-billion dollar public company. And on the front page that affects every single one of their customers and their overall brand, they're saying, hey, we want to promote and tell everybody how proud we are of the fact of who we are as an employer today, how we treat our employees and what kind of experience they get. And so that's just so incredibly powerful. You know, you've got other companies that work with us like Ring Central, And what they were so amazed by is that by using our software in one week, they got more feedback than they had on five years of building it up on other employee review platforms. I'm talking about thousands and thousands of reviews. And so whether it was them or customers of ours like Zoom, the video Zoom product, you know, they always consistently tell us we've never worked with a platform that made it as easy and simple to collect feedback as comparably. And then, you know, you know that we're extremely well known for our best place to work awards. We do 16 of these awards throughout the year. They're on a variety of key critical topics, including diversity and inclusion and, and highlight CEOs and companies and different departments. Virtually every major media outlet you could think of has covered these awards. Business Insider, Fortune, Forbes, Inc. Magazine, Fast Company, USA Today. These awards are seen by hundreds of millions of people a year globally in these major media outlets. And so if you think about it, most companies, Justin, are not household names. You know, there's a very, very few set of companies that people would say like, oh, yeah, I know that company and I'd love to go work for them, right? 95% of us aren't a household name, but we may be providing these incredible experiences and benefits to employees, and that's just getting lost in the noise. And so what Comparably does is it gives all those companies a competitive advantage to get their name out there and what they're doing. And I think one of the things that I'm most proud of is that, as you said, the most important asset for any talent team is your own existing team. We all know that the single best hires that we ever make come from warm referrals. And so what we do at Comparably is we unlock the employees at companies in a, in a different and better way than any other SaaS platform to really turn into true promoters of the company culture. We do it because we have the data of what it's like to work there. We have the software tools to make it easy for these folks to share. We have the metrics to see how it helps out. And so if you're a candidate and you go to LinkedIn and you see that 50 different people at this company are sharing how excited and energized they are to work in the engineering department or marketing department or design department, that is a huge influence for you to want to then apply and accept that job offer. 
and that's the unique thing that we do on our platform that I think you know makes us the market leader in recruitment marketing and employer branding. That's that's incredible. And as I think about um, so if I think about what's really beautiful about the story of Comparably and Zumempo coming together, there's kind of three pillars in my mind. There's so Talent OS, which is you know helping accelerate the sourcing element. It, it provides you the data, the access to candidates and really streamline the recruiter's process. And then there's the employer branding aspect, which we talked about, you know, being able to, you know, if you think about the flow of a, a candidate, they're probably Googling and searching about a company and their culture and reading about their leadership and their diversity and, and how comparably can solve that need. And then the third component of it is really recruitment marketing. So talk to me for a minute about how you think about the relationship between like recruiters and talent acquisition and how organizations can leverage recruitment marketing either as a function or as a practice within the organization to support its recruiting efforts. Yeah, I'm happy to. And I'd actually love to start that conversation by talking about talent OS and how important talent OS is. Cause I know a lot of the folks here watching today are already engaged in those conversations. You know, a, Again, going back to what we talked about a moment ago, to find the really important key talent that we all want to hire, those folks don't come in off of job boards. We just can't find that, that talent. You got to proactively go out and say, these are the kinds of companies that are like me. These are the, this is the kind of talent I'm looking for. This is the background and experience that I'm looking for. And so if, if proactive candidate outreach is not part of your talent strategy right now, if it's not part of what you invest in, as an organization, you're just massively disadvantaged to the companies that are leveraging those data tools and software. And I'd make the argument that even though we're new to the space, Zoom Info is probably the best at that of anybody right now because of the years and years of data that we've built up. And so I really, really want to stress this point. Every company that is investing in growing and retaining their team has to invest in a proactive strategy of candidate outreach where you're not just relying on job boards. Okay, now here's where recruitment marketing comes into play. You know Justin as someone that's had an incredible career and has been involved in sales, that there's a number of touch points that you need to do to a sales prospect to be effective. And sales leaders have this really dialed in over the last you know, decades of mastering this and doing this online over the last 20 years. But you may need to touch somebody seven, eight, nine different times before you even get a response. And there needs to be different, unique content each time that you touch them. There needs to be something of value that you reach out with. One of the things that recruiters are often at a disadvantage for is their companies don't empower them with enough content that helps them in a compelling way convince that candidate to come into their funnel and then to keep moving through their funnel, right? And so recruiters are asked, and it, I know a lot of the folks watching here today are VPs of talent and directors of talent and recruiters. And I'm sure that you all feel like, hey, I need more resources to do my job effectively and to meet the numbers that are being asked of me for all these department leaders are saying, hey, I, we need to get these number of recs filled. You know, these recruiters and, and, and leaders of talent are working so hard in this market. They're working so incredibly hard and they're just needing more help and support from the company overall. And so what recruitment marketing is, is it's all the things that happen outside and in addition to just the job postings and job advertising themselves that influences the candidate to both A, apply, and then B, to keep going through the funnel, and then C, eventually end up taking the job offer. And so what are those things? What actually influences a candidate? Well, first, there has to be brand recognition. You have to recognize and know a brand of an employer and feel motivated that, yes, that's an, an organization I want to work for. The second is you have to feel connected that people like you are having an experience that's meaningful that you want to have too. If you're in engineering, if you're a person of color, if you've got a specific set of things that you're looking for as far as remote or hybrid work, you want to know that that company is a leader and excels in those areas. And then the third thing is, you know, when you get to the point that you're going to make an actual decision, 
most of the top candidates today have multiple offers. You know, we just did this session with our new SVP of talent attraction here at Zoom Info, Robert Doherty, and he talked about how he had four different job offers before he joined Zoom Info. And it was in large part about reading the reviews online and on Comparably, it helped convince them to want to come to Zoom Info. And so it's, it's also that last stage when the candidate, she's making her final decision of, well, do I want to go to organization A, B, and C, the things that are going to most influence her there. And so recruitment marketing is exactly that. It's all the different marketing activities that influence the recruiting process to basically drive a lower cost of candidate acquisition and a faster time to hire and to increase the quality of candidates that the companies are hiring. That's, that's awesome. I want to I make sure we give time uh, to Susan to do a, a demo of Comparably. So in closing, um, for you and I, what advice do you have for organizations who are looking to get started and take a more proactive approach to managing their employer brand and recruitment marketing efforts? Absolutely. It, it, your organization has an employer brand today that is either accelerating your hiring and retention goals or detracting. There is no neutral. There is no, hey, I'm going to put my head in the sand. I'm going to just focus on other areas. It's either a net positive or a net negative. And if it's a net negative, it's costing your organization millions and millions of dollars. Now, you don't have to use comparably. There's a whole host of things you can do. And what it goes back to, Justin, is what we talked about, which is you have to be where the candidate is. A, you have to drive name recognition for your company as an employer, and you have to have an employee value proposition that stands for something that's meaningful to a broader set of folks. And then you have to be where the candidate is on Google, on social media, on your own job posts and career site, on third party job posts and career site. You gotta be able to unlock your own employees as voices of your company. It's really critical that you're creating content, both videos and long form content that influences these candidates. Now that's a lot of time, effort and work and so, you know, if you can use a platform like Comparably that does it all for you, and we have our employer branding experts that are there working with you on a monthly basis, then it just makes that process so much easier. You know, every company has a reputation. Your CEOs that are, you know, leading your organizations, they've got scores on Comparably. When someone puts their name into Google, that Comparably page is often coming up in the first couple of results. And so this is something that the C-suites of companies care very much about. It's often the C-suite that cares the most about reputation and it just gets lost a little bit way, along the way translating down because there hasn't historically been a really clear scorecard of how to measure it or what the ROI is. But now we know that's not the case anymore. It's very clear with platforms like our, how we measure the ROI to drive, again, lower cost of candidate acquisition and faster time to hire. And then when you combine comparably with Talent OS, it's just the most unique, special, you know, combination on the market to, again, identify, source, engage, and influence the proactive talent that you're never going to be able to find on a job board, and that's absolutely vital to grow your business. And so um, you all are in for a treat. Susan's absolutely exceptional, and she's helped so many companies of all different sizes. And so um, I agree, Justin, everyone's going to get to see here a bit more of the Comparably platform, and we'll turn it over to Susan. Yeah. Thanks so much, Jason. It's been, a, it's been great chatting with, with you about these things. Great advice for, for companies who are looking to you know, move along in their journey in terms of uh, employer branding and recruitment marketing, and, and in, in terms of recruiting and sourcing great talent and what is you know, historically one of the most challenging uh, hiring environments we've ever seen. And so Thanks so much for your time, and I'll kick it back over to Lauren to, to get Susan teed up. All right, great. Thank you so much, Jason and Justin. And now we're going to turn it over to Susan to give us a demo of Comparably. Thanks for the introduction, Lauren. Hi, everyone. Again, my name is Susan. I've been a part of the Comparably sales team for the past few years, and I am fortunate enough to talk to dozens of companies every single week about the challenges we all face in today's talent market and how Comparably can help. So there's five big areas that we focus on. Jason kind of already touched on these, but I'm going to run through them and then we'll hop into the platform. First and foremost, we want to ensure that you have the most fair and accurate online reputation. We do that in part by giving our customers the ability to have only their verified current employees who can leave public feedback on their comparably page. 
This protects your brand from being misrepresented by former disgruntled employees that tend to be the loudest on employer review sites. And we've made it a whole lot easier to garner that feedback from your team. Next, we want to ensure that as everybody is researching your company, they're seeing this accurate content. So your Comparably page will show up at the top of Google searches for dozens of candidate search terms and be syndicated across the web. Our best places to work awards get featured in multiple major media outlets like CNBC, Business Insider, Entrepreneur, just to name a few. Last year, we reached 350 million folks with our press and awards. Next, we lean in on candidate conversion. So we'll turn all that employee sentiment into recruitment marketing collateral to help you be more effective on social media, as well as enhance your own job postings and career sites, all to attract, influence, convert, and retain more quality candidates. And then we're also going to be a partner for long-form content creation. So whether it's articles featuring your leadership team or in, uh, videos featuring your real employees will help tell those unique stories of your company culture, amplify your brand, and get more reach as that employer of choice, all while saving your team time and resources. So what does that all look like? So the first step of Comparably is building up your presence and empowering that employee, that verified employee voice. Our software makes it incredibly easy to engage your current employees and externalize their experience. So a few examples here, Zoom video communications, their chief people officer was ecstatic when they um, got 15% of their global workforce at the time to leave feedback in just 48 hours. IBM was able to get over 1,800 participants across the world in just three days. And Ring Central, in one year of partnership on Comparably, got more feedback from current employees than they had gotten on Glassdoor in 10 years. So again, our software just makes it incredibly easy to garner this feedback. And to give you a, a quick preview of what that actually looks like, I can show you in the platform. So first, we're collecting mostly quantitative data. So it's a really takes a matter of minutes for your employees to leave their feedback. And you can just send a link directly to them on any messaging client you use. We also have integrations with both Slack and Microsoft Teams. So for example, if my team wants to ask me a question, uh, the culture assessment on Slack, I don't even have to leave my workflow in order to leave responses. I can do it right in the Slack client. And so that's how we get hundreds of employees to leave feedback pretty instantly. It's a light lift on both the employer and employees side. Also, verified reviews, as Jason and Justin were just discussing, make a massive difference. Jason shared the story of um, public storage, who had thousands of legacy reviews really impacting their ability to attract talent. By getting just their current employees to leave feedback on Comparably, they're now telling a much different story. And Google is indexing us front and center on Google job searches with those more accurate ratings to help combat some of that negative legacy data. Comparably, we'll rank at the top of Google searches for dozens of other candidate search terms as well. Like culture, you'll see ADP is coming up. Um, ADP culture, comparably, is coming up just below their corporate page and above sites like Indeed, LinkedIn, and Glassdoor. And so we also syndicate this data across the web. For example, we are powering all of the reviews and salary data on ZipRecruiter. And so the idea here is just that as people start their search, they see this positive, accurate content first. You can also put this content everywhere. So for example, Public Storage was so thrilled with their results, they have their comparably awards front and center on their main website. More on um, how we get the data everywhere else later, but first I'm gonna talk a little bit about the awards. So these awards are not pay to play. They're based solely on the employee sentiment that we'll already be collecting from your team. So there's no application process, no submission forms. It's a light lift on your end. And again, it's based on that employee sentiment so that it's really credible. With 16 different awards, we can highlight what your company does really well 
and you'll have the opportunity to be featured in multiple major media outlets like Entrepreneur, CNBC, Business Insider. This is all press that came from our awards in one week. And so imagine being featured in CNBC for being a best place to work for women alongside some of the best known companies and CEOs. Back to Ring Central. In the past two years of partnership, they were able to garner almost 100 million media views. So they've been featured in 74 press articles. You can see here, we put easy access to these articles. You can use them in your recruiting efforts or share internally. And this kind of media would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars if you were to work with a PR firm to get that. It's all earned media with comparably awards. The awards also drove another almost 30 million in social media reach. So in terms of awareness and recognition, we're driving a ton of value for our customers every single quarter. That leads me into social media and how critical it is to be really effective here. So we know that 70% of candidates are passive today, and we know that the majority of candidates are using social media to form an opinion on your company or find jobs. And so again, it's absolutely critical that you have an effective strategy here and this software will save your team time in creating that content to get these important stories out. And again, do it through that employee voice so it's much more credible. So whether it's an employee review or culture score or stat, we can highlight this by um, industry or department specific in multiple languages it's for your global strategy and just help you create unique, authentic content to influence candidates. With one click, you can post to your social networks, but the real power of this tool is to turn your employees into your brand ambassadors. So we've created landing pages or we also integrate with Slack and Microsoft Teams here. And now with one click, you can your employees can start posting to their networks. So you can tap into their networks and 10X your reach. I'll show you what this kind of looks like. So Ring Central, they have their employees all over sharing out the award. ADP has their employees all over the world sharing out on Twitter. And so again, you're boosting that internal morale as your employees are seeing you winning awards, seeing their coworkers saying great things about working at the company, and you're really reinforcing that culture externally, as well as improving your reach and saving you time as your employees are now your promoters. There's a lot more in the recruitment marketing library as well, like job seeker reports and employee spotlights. I'm not going to touch on everything today for the sake of time, but I did want to highlight our employee celebration tool. It's one of our newer tools, and it's really a, it's a great option now that more and more of us are remote, just to do a quick touch to make employees feel special and valued. And so this is awesome to use internally to help connect teams. I'll pull up an example that we use. So to highlight, um, so this is our employee spotlight tool to highlight a specific employee and you can see it's driving engagement as well as to use externally. So here you can see they're welcoming a new hire and you know, think about how special Lauren feels now that this is posted publicly to welcome her and she very easily goes shares it and now she's posted it out to her network. And so this is just positive brand equity for Lily AI. And then we also make it really easy to collect video feedback from your team. And so the common theme you'll see with Comparably is that everything is designed to save you time, to make it easier process and to streamline your strategy. Your employees can now with their smartphone submit employee video testimonials or their computer cameras. This again can be pushed out on Slack or Microsoft Teams or it's just a shareable link. And so we can very easily start getting video content for your brand strategy. And then we want to put this where your candidates are going to see it. And so the next area that I want to highlight is your own career site and job postings and how we're going to help there. So here's an example of a customer of ours, Carbon. They're posting a job posting. If I click to that, it brings them right. It would bring the person clicking to it 
right to the job posting. And so we've taken an otherwise boring job posting and brought it to life with this employee sentiment, as this is prime real estate to influence a candidate right next to that apply button. We're also putting all of this employee data right at their fingertips, as we know that's what a candidate is going to look for when they're considering working for a company. And so you can have the ability to actually post those employee testimonials right on your job posting. And you can get really custom. Let's say you have a campaign to hire engineers in India. We can put a video from your engineers in India speaking of their experience so that the type of candidates you're trying to target the opportunity that I've been given to can resonate and individual to go beyond and above to accomplish what's required at the end of the day I think what gives me so you kind of get the idea there and so again hopefully you can start to see how it's a whole holistic strategy I'll show you what it kind of looks like all put together so this is um, Kayla from Isaiah she wants to share this awesome stat that a hundred percent of employees are proud to be a part of their company and she has multiple other team members sharing this out now if I click to it it brings me to their career site because that's what we really want to do. We want to drive candidates to you. And if I'm on their career site, I see this award badge here, reinforcing that award-winning culture. I see it here as well, alongside culture scores, employee reviews. It's all rated by current employees for the credibility. And if I explore the roles here on all of the open job postings, they have overlaid their comparably data influencing those candidates to want to apply right away. So finally, I'll just quickly touch on the long form content creation that we do as well. So um, again, we do articles where we can feature your leadership team. We can get really custom here to talk about things that are important to your cultural initiatives, as well as where you see the company going and what you, in you have certain aspects you want to highlight. We can also put you alongside other companies for more brand awareness on topics that are very important and relevant to the market, as well as align with your initiatives. And so again, we're here to be that true partner for all things employer branding and recruitment marketing. I just want to end um, with one quote from one of our customers, because I think it just sums it up perfectly on how we help. So this is our customer in Sino, and they said, their head of recruiting said, if you can get really good at letting your employees brag about how good it is to work at your company, there is no better recruiting tool out there. And that is exactly what Comparably has done for us. Your candidates are going to trust what your employees have to say three times more than anything the company puts out there. And so that's why we enable you to tell your story through that employee voice. So thank you so much for your time today. Um, please feel free to reach out if you'd like to schedule a demo. I look forward to meeting more of you one-on-one. -on -one. And again, thank you for your time today. Uh, I'll pass it back to you, Lauren. Thanks. Thank you, Susan, for the demo. We really appreciate it. Um, you guys, thank you so much. Uh, thank you to Jason, Justin, for joining us today.